Welcome back to the channel viewers. Now you probably remember two weeks ago, I brought you this video right here on a gaming project named Peekamoon, a partner project of mine. Back then, two weeks ago, they had raised four and a half million dollars of six million dollar hard cap of their pre-sale. Well, they had given themselves 60 days to raise the final one and a half million dollars. And they raised it in not 60 days, but only four days. Yes, the campaign two weeks ago has been hugely successful. And so they have, to, have moved up the launch date this token is now live trading. How often do you hear about that? You hear about projects delaying the presale completion, delaying the launch date so much. This project, such a successful presale, they are speeding up the launch date and it is here. And now to refresh your memory, the, the Pika Moon founders are fully doxxed. Here they are, Luke and Conrad. Pretty unusual for a new project like this with a big presale. It's great to see. Full transparency is always a good thing. Here's Luke's page. He is from England and lives in Dubai. Here's Conrad's page. He's got a big profile big following right here. He is also from England and lives in Dubai currently. So it's one thing if, if I, like I feature projects that have devs who are known on crypto Twitter, but they're not fully decks. These guys, especially Conrad, are known on crypto Twitter and they're fully docked. It's the best of both worlds. Now they come from this company right here, Orbit Cosmos. This is the company they started together and still run. It's a gaming design company. So Orbit Cosmos is helping to do the design of Pikamoon. And Pikamoon game, this is not just some run of the mill fun game. They have, it's a 40 person team behind this game and they have plans to scale up to a hundred people with the continuous success of this project. And then to make matters even better, the guys not only are the fully docked, but they're doing a, a sort of like a weekly interview series right here. This is the first episode they did. They just kind of share stories and talk about the history of Pika. Let's get, just play like 20 seconds of this, give you a feel for the personalities. It's this guy and this guy here, not the middle guy. Without further ado, Brock. Anto, say our real name. Conrad and Luke, um, would you like to introduce yourself? Like so Conrad, do you want to go first? Yes, guys, it's Conrad. I'm happy to find me. Meet you personally, as it were. As it were. And yeah, I'm really looking forward, yeah, really to, this looking forward to this podcast. Um, we've got a lot of stuff uh, planned, a, a few stories. And yeah, it's going to be... Yeah. Definitely give that a further listen than great personalities. Nice guys, more probably very business savvy, very game savvy. It, it, it does a great job of instilling full confidence in this project. Now, the beta version of the game is out now. The mainnet version will be coming later. The beta version is out now. It is huge. It's exploded in popularity. They have 10,000 users playing the game. And I'm getting comments on my first Pika Moon video like this. Bro, I made a mistake and let my kid play this beta on my phone. And now I'm trying to push Cocomelon back. That's his kid. Push Cocomelon back so I can use my phone in peace. Pika. This game is highly, highly addictive. Now, if you want to play it, just click on play now right here and download it. It's just a phone game. It's not on desktop. So it works on your iPhone or Android. Download on your phone of choice, whatever you use. It works on all old models of phone, but for the best user experience, you want iOS version 12.3 or later or version 5.1 Lollipop or later on Android. And then just a basic refresher of the game. It is a battle style combat game. It's called MOBA Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. Play Players battle each other and try to assemble the strongest team of Pika Moon NFTs as possible. The NFTs are six different elemental forces, your character NFTs. There's fire, water, electric, rock, air, and earth. You try to have characters that embody a mix of those elemental forces to get the strongest possible team. And then additionally, the Pika token will be is it will be used as an in-game reward token. Also, we've been seeing some they've released a sneak peek of what some of the characters in the main net version of the game look like. So here's this character right here doing some like karate chop kick move. Here he is just walking walking, strutting his stuff, looking very badass. I like it. Now, the project has been audited by CoinSalt. You can check this out on the website. It all passed. Everything looks good. Just two low risk issues. Minor, nothing to be worried about there. This red trading has to be enabled option. That is the normal for projects with pre-sales. They always have to have this toggled. So nothing to be concerned about there. Audit passed. That is good. And then additionally, since the token just launched, I can't cover any price action right now because I've had to prepare this video in advance, but they're launching at a $10 million post pre-sale market caps. So that's good. It's not too small that it's like nerve wracking, but it still leaves lots of room for 10X, 100X. Remember, Axe Infinity and Sandbox got into the multi-billion dollar market caps. They're still in the multi-billion dollar market caps, and they're two of the top 10 highly profitable, highest ROI public sales of all time. So gaming projects like Pika Moon, like Axe Sandbox, they perform very well during the bull market, which we are entering right 
now. Now you can expect several tier one centralized exchange, exchanges to be announced at any moment if they haven't been announced already. That makes perfect sense right there because they have already raised so much money. The buzz is there. Exchanges want that first day trading volume. And that's it for Peekamoon, guys. So always do your own due diligence. It goes well beyond the contents of this video and always diversify. Never put in more than you can afford to lose in any one coin. I'm super excited about this one. Obviously, it's a hyped launch, a big pre-sale, but beyond the launch, the main of the version hasn't even come out yet. This is a long-term project, and I'm very excited to see where it goes weeks, months, years down the line. Check it out yourself. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you are playing the game yourself. Have you invested in the pre-sale? Are you going to buy on launch? Let me know what you think. Hit the like and subscribe button already. Catch you later. Ben Crypto signing out. Peace.